Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, we have an awesome unboxing this week, and it's all about the Think System SR650. I'm super excited to get this machine inside the lab because when we have servers in the lab, what's going to happen? Most likely, we are going to review it live and configure it. So I don't know what's going to happen on this machine. I don't know if we're going to install Linux, Windows. I don't know. Uh, I do not know what kind of specifications Lenovo sent me like storage, memory, so we're gonna find out with the unboxing. Uh, so let's get to it. All right, so what comes inside the box? Uh, we have our server, the SR650. Awesome. We have two uh, big boxes. This long box right here, I'm assuming, is the rails. So we are going to open it up. I am not going to rack it up, but it is always nice that uh, a company does provide the, the rails. Uh, I know Dell, you have to like make sure that's an additional add-on, like an accessory, when you're purchasing a Dell. It just costs more money. But I think Lenovo actually sells it you know, packaged up with their servers, which is an awesome thing. See, this is one of them. Uh, this is the right side, and the one is inside the box. The next one would be the left side. So, definitely not going to rack it up, right? And this is the rack installation guide. Always keep that in hand. And let's put this in here. I'm gonna put this to the side because again, I definitely don't need this for now. Awesome. And the small box, uh, automatically, I'm assuming it's a power cable. Haha, <laughs> power cable right here. We have an additional uh, solid state drive cradle. And looking at the front of it, we do have a hard, you know, we do actually have a hard drive, uh, but I don't know the size of it yet. And also inside this small little box, we have our Lenovo warranty. Yep, warranty support guide right here. Cool. Awesome. All right, so I'm actually gonna put this uh, little box to the side real quick. Ah, if I can close it, ah, put it to the side. Awesome. So first things first, taking a close look at it. I am super excited. This is classified as a 2U uh, rack server. Pretty disappointed automatically looking at the back side. We only have one power supply. Uh, that sucks. I love purchasing servers with two power supplies. That is best practice in my in my book. Uh, this one is actually 1100 watts, which is super powerful. But having an additional power supply, 1100, 1100 is awesome. I think on a 650, SR650 lineup, I think the highest power supply is 1600 watts. Not too sure, but I will follow up during the review. Uh, we have a couple uh, 3.1 USB uh, ports in the back. We have our VGA, our Ethernet, or RJ45. Does not look like we have an LOM uh, port at all. It's covered up. We have a bunch of PCIe slots, but none of them are hooked up. So the back side is pretty plain. On the front side, it looks like we have a lot of bays. It uh, looks like we have 24 bays. Uh, bay 0 is hooked up with a hard drive. So I'm gonna actually take it out, and this is a 480 solid state drive SATA 6.0 uh, gigabits per second speed. Uh, 480 gigs. What could we do with this particular machine? I don't know how much memory it has, so I'm gonna slap this guy back inside. There we go. Awesome. So what I'm going to do is right here on the top. We're gonna slide that up. I'm gonna open it up. Put this guy to the side. Awesome. Take my hands. Rub it. Awesome. Cool. All right. So it looks like we only have one processor. I do not know what type of processor. I'm assuming it's probably an Intel Xeon processor. Don't know if it's a premium gold or bronze uh, series. So when we boot it up, most likely we could take a look on that. Uh, it does have one, two, three, four, five. Uh, CPU fans. It's missing one, so additional you get six of them. This guy right here is the controller that allows you to hook up 
Uh, it looks like up to bay seven. Awesome. But you need additional controllers to hook up more solid state drives on this side. So the controller only supports up to seven, eight uh, solid state drives. Okay, so that's the controller there. Uh, it does have an M.2 uh, port, so I could hook up an M.2 solid state drive there. How about memory? Let me see if I could take this guy out of here. Awesome. Now this machine, the SR650, is capable of handling two processors, which is great. And uh, it looks like we only have 32 gigs. 32 gigs with 480 gig solid state drive. Ah, what to do with this particular machine with you guys during the, the server room live stream, right? I don't know. I definitely don't want to do a Windows server. We've done that. We've done VMware. Maybe Citrix? Or Linux? Ooh, Linux. That'd be awesome, right? Hmm. Who knows? Uh, specifications look pretty good. All right, so I'm going to close this up. Put this guy back. Uh, I'm going to put the lid back. I'm going to hook up a an external monitor, VGA monitor. And hook it up with power, keyboard, mouse, and power it on. On the front panel, not too much going on. Uh, this guy right here looks like this is the power. Uh, LED indicator. Uh, you have two additional uh, 3.1 USB ports. Cool. And no VGA. That's a first. Typically, like the Lenovo servers that I've dealt with always has a, a VGA port on the front and the back. This one only has one in the back, which is okay. Awesome. All right. So let me hook up the monitor, keyboard, and mouse and power this guy on and actually see what type of CPU it has. All right, guys, so we hooked up the monitor, keyboard, mouse into the SR650 as well as the power cable. I haven't plugged it in, but we are going to plug it in. Boom. Awesome. And the only reason I kind of I wanted to plug it in with you guys because it sometimes boots up. There it goes. It's warming up. You don't even have to press the power button, which the power button is actually located right here in the front, and it's already lit up. It's already starting up. I want to see before I even touch it. Cool. All right, so let's press the power button, which is located right here in the front, to start it up. There we go. Awesome. Beautiful. I was expecting more power. It's kind of really silent. Mm. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Typically, like a lot of these Think System uh, servers that I've done with you guys so far, they're really powerful. But this guy is like, it's like a baby, like a little kitty purring softly. Ew, that kind of freaks me out. All right, so let's see what type of uh, CPU it has. Automatically, we know it has a 480 gig solid state drive, SATA solid state drive. There it goes. Caught me off guard. Uh, it has one processor, but it's able to support two processors. I don't know. I know automatically it has to be like an Intel Xeon because it has the little sticker right here stay, stating Intel Xeon. But what type is it? Is it a bronze, platinum, gold, silver? Who knows? It does support two CPUs, like I said before. Uh, it has 32 gigs. It does have 24 DIMMs. And that would be... 12 DIMMs for one processor, and the other 12 DIMMs would be for the other processor, okay? Uh, off the bat, I'm, I'm assuming maybe a terabyte to two terabyte for memory. Probably a little bit more. I don't know. I'm assuming this. Uh, but I will give you guys the exact information when we're doing the review. I'm just waiting for this guy right here to load up the information to see what type of processor we have. I want to know what kind of clock speed we have. Come on, baby. Load up. Okay, 32 gigs, it's independent mode, one processor, 18 cores, it's Intel Xeon Gold 6150 with a clock speed of 2.70 gigahertz. No boot devices available and the system will reboot. Ugh, that sucks. So that means there's no operating system on this particular machine. So that means, ah, oh, 
it hasn't been touched. So what to do with this particular machine, I don't know. I really don't want to install Windows Server, man. That's kind of boring. Uh, we touch base with VMware. Uh, I really want to I want to get my hands dirty with Linux. I want to build maybe a Linux server with you guys. I want to know what you guys think. Should I build the Linux server with the Think System SR650? Please leave your comments right below. Let me know what are your thoughts. And uh, first impressions on the machine, uh, like mm, only one hard drive, 480 gigs solid state drive. It's not that bad. 32 gigs of memory. I could do a lot, do a lot, you know, with you guys with those particular specifications. Uh, kind of sucks that it doesn't have an additional power supply. Uh, it'd have been nice if I got a second one, but hey, the 1100 watts hot power supply that I have right now is great. On the back panel, very limited on ports, super standard, one VGA, two 3.1 USB ports, um, and you have your RJ45 port. That's it. Done. On the front panel, you have 24 bays uh, that allows you just to slap in a, a lot of solid state drives, but the way that this guy is configured, you could only configure up to eight bays because of the controller. It's only configured on this side right here. The other... The other side right here doesn't have the controller to install any hard drives, so that kind of sucks. Uh, this particular model does not have a VGA port on the front, which is okay. We can still use the back part, which is, you know, it's good. Overall, I'm pretty excited that Lenovo hooked me up with the Think System SR650 to do some testing and a little bit of configuration during the server room. So again, I'm leaning towards a Linux server. I want to know what you guys think. Leave your comments right below. Don't forget about hitting that like button. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.